I remember a rash of service calls coming in on weeks like these, snowfall being the key part of it. It's amazing how well a heat pump is prepared for cold weather. What about snow? Hi, I'm Chris Morin with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week we're talking about heat pumps and record snowfall. It really is amazing how well they're prepared for cold weather. But what happens when it snows? There's safeties, defrost controls, even ducted systems have some supplemental heat. Unfortunately, condensers don't come with windshield wipers to keep the snow clear. And eventually, snow will build up to a breaking point when it comes to airflow across that coil. For conventionally ducted heat pumps, this typically means more defrost cycles and even supplemental heaters turning on more often or only when the homeowner flips to emergency heat. When covered with snow, a conventional heat pump will not be able to move air across the coil and will continue to recycle that air within the heat pump, creating quite the ice sculpture. This is typical with top discharge condensers, most unitary products. And if not serviced, of course that could cause failures, leaks, multitude of things. For ductless or mini split heat pumps, this could actually cause an uncomfortable home to start. This is usually because there's not supplemental heat installed within the mini split. There are many control strategies to integrate mini split heat pumps into existing fuel sources in the home though. That should probably turn over when you have record snowfall. Also, during defrost cycles, mini splits actually shut off the fan on the indoor units so it doesn't cause uncomfortable air blowing around the room. But if there's a record snow and it's really cold, increased defrost cycles could actually not keep up with the heat loss of the house. This would be the time to fire off your boiler or furnace. Most of these mini split heat pumps will actually stay in defrost until the coil itself reaches 40 degrees outside. Remember, that's not the ambient air, the temperature of the refrigerant. Of course, if it's covered in snow, it's gonna take longer. In order to avoid all of these extra service calls and spikes during record snowfall, I highly recommend you educate your customers. If not, you're gonna experience more than just a nuisance. Let me ask you, have you ever had to charge a system during a blizzard? Guess who has two thumbs and did? This guy. I looked a little more ridiculous than that with my legs wrapped around an R22 can and the homeowner comes around the corner wondering what in the world I am doing. That's when I realized I should have told that homeowner years ago, don't clear that snow with a shovel. She didn't realize there was soft copper pipes behind it. If you want a heat pump during record snowfall and you're really concerned, you may want to just turn your heat onto supplemental. Or use wood. Electric resistance heaters, whatever you need in order to save the heat pump without causing major issues. Remember, a lot of these systems are made to operate in this weather, just not covered. If they continue to run, I've seen mini split side discharge heat pumps operate just fine during record snowfall because the snow does not build up in front or behind it when the fan's running. But if you do switch over supplemental emergency heat, make sure you clear the snow from the system first before you turn it back on. This way, you can get the most efficient heating system without the nuisance failures. I hope I learned the hard way so you don't have to. Thanks for subscribing to HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. See you next week.